What's up guys, Hugh Cornahan, the Kaizen Man here, and I am standing with you in front of a hotel that was just purchased. This is in Buffalo, Missouri here, and um, I am a one-third part owner in this new facility. We are currently um, going through the lean process, right? Day one, we took over, we're, we're, we're doing all that, so I apologize for bringing you a lot of video content that I'm doing at home. Uh, but we wanted to share with you what's going on here. So like most lean operations will take over day one, we fire everybody immediately, and then we rehire them on the spot as process engineers. Why? Because we need to let people know that they have more value than what they think they do, right? A byproduct of what their job is, um, is their work getting done, but their primary focus is to come up with better ways to make their job easier. So that was kind of step one. I also wanted to share that hotels are extremely lucrative. However, they are not passive. They're not passive at all. In fact, this is one of the most um, active things you can do. I would akin this to running or operating a restaurant. There are no breaks, there are no weekends, there are no whatever. You staff up for it, and we're just doing the standard um, firefighting and the, the things that we would normally do. Um, figuring stuff out, but it is not a passive investment at all. Uh, there are property management companies out there that will take a fee to manage it for you, so um, we just kind of want to share that experience as we're going through. Um, there's things I can share and things I can't share because uh, we've taken over a lease option for purchase. It means we have entered into a lease with the option to purchase this after a certain time frame. So because we don't own it yet, we can't really share too much on the details. But it's definitely a learning experience. It's super exciting, learning the ins and outs, and everything benefits from operational improvements from Lean. So we're super excited to be able to bring those skill sets, combine them with the skill sets everybody already has here, and uh, get the get the hotel operational. Hopefully, we can get a lot of good video capture of all the befores because we're just incrementally improving. So we want to be able to look back and build a video library of how things were, what things looked like, what our processes were, because for a year from now, everything is going to be completely different. It's going to be continuously improved all the time. Right? For those of you that know me from the manufacturing background, those of you who have already implemented two second lean in your system, in your companies, you know, little by little by little, every day something new is always going on. Right? We've already made over 250 changes so far to the company, right? To this building. Computers purchased, processes updated, schedules updated. We're gonna be adding uh, a propane-based grill, getting everything updated. Best thing is, we're empowering the, the workforce that was here before to make their own decisions. We're providing them the training that they need and they get to solve the problems they've always wanted to that they've never been allowed to before. Guys, one of my favorite improvements is this printer used to be down there and the operators, every time they use this 40 to 50 times a day, they'd have to bend over, bend back up, bend over, bend back up, bend over, bend back up. This right here, moving it from that location to there, reduced the stress on the operators by 98 miles a year. They were bending over and standing back up. That's not what our customers are paying for. They're paying for excellent service. They're not gonna deal with our waste like that. Laundry room, another amazing place to eliminate waste. We've got the morning meeting set up, area set up. We have three as this entire area. This used to be organized by sizes and everything. Now this area is officially organized by most frequent use. Employees have the authority and training to rearrange everything so that it's easier to use from most used being over here to least used being farthest away, reducing their walking per year by 114 miles per person. This door behind me is where you exit. Also 3S, we began the, standard, the standardization process of the carts. Upstairs cart, downstairs cart, completely different. The chemicals have now been 3S. We're going to be eliminating stuff we don't need. Also removed hundreds of pounds of pillows and linens that were just in the way that were old. We got rid of all of that. Also made an operational improvement for the water heater. We pulled that water heater because it was not the right size. This water heater right here now is a backup to fail safe. So there are hundreds of improvements we've already made. This corner right here, we're working on 
diligently, but we're gonna be turning that into a U-shaped cell. The brooms are, are now hung up on the wall that are, are used to reduce the amount of motion our folks have to bend over. So there are hundreds of improvements that have already happened. We're super excited to show you the operational increase, help reduce the burden of our staff and our workload. If you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to like, subscribe, we'll bring you along, share with you whatever we can. If you're a hotel operator, we hope that some of this stuff can help you. If you like this kind of content, guys, we encourage you to like, subscribe, and uh, follow us, and we'll try to share nuggets of wisdom that really help.